Hey everybody, Jennifer here and welcome to So Do You Like Stuff? Today I am finally going to unbox this lovely J-List toy box. And it's a Fuku Buguro, which is a lucky bag, but it's technically in a box. In Japan, normally at the end of the year, they sell a lot of their products that way. They retail like sometimes fifty hundred dollars depending on where you go what you get and it's a bunch of random products from like certain stores and stuff like that so with j-list they have a uh, fukubukuro with toys so i decided since i did this a few years ago let's go ahead and do it again and splurge and see what's in the box with some trusty scissors we're going to go ahead and open it up see what's on the inside get a little postcard um that says thanks for your order from Jayliss. Hope to see you soon again. So very cute. And some paper. And some paper. And the first item. So this is from the Promise Neverland and it's a tote bag. It's actually a really nice tote bag. So it's very nice that ooh, there's a lot of goodies in here. So all right. Oh well. So this one is a figure from My Hero Academia. Haven't seen this anime yet, but I know of its existence. Because <laughs> I remember last time there was some anime that I saw that I'm like, well, I don't know what that is, but it's some anime. Open it a little, not a lot. Let's see what's on the inside. Oh, I love that plastic smell. It's so good. So there it is. You just have to put it together. Pretty cool. All right, the next item we have in this box is a blanket. And it's A in there. So, pretty cool. I've seen this before. Probably pop in what this is later. And then one of these as well. And this is from Goblin Slayer. And I think it's just little keychains or something like that. And then this one is a little mini mystery box, Akira. And it's really cool because earlier in the summer, we went to Anime Expo and we saw the creator of Akira. And that was really exciting for me because this is one of the first animes that I saw that actually turned me on to the world of anime back in like the early 90s so really cool so maybe I'll unbox this on another video because I actually have a lot of smaller items like this that I really want to unbox but I haven't found the opportunity to so really cool and there's another box from One Punch Man and I'm actually watching this anime and I really like it a lot it's really exciting to see what happens next so I will do the same thing, just unbox this at a later time. And it looks like another figure that a character. Let me open this one up too. See what's on the inside. This box I'm very pleased with because there's a lot of good stuff in here. A lot. Oh, that smell. And then really easy to assemble with the head and body and stand and all that stuff. This is a Godzilla figure for King Ghidorah. I'm gonna open this one because I like Godzilla stuff. So exciting! Oh my god! Fans. There's King Ghidorah and his wings and all that stuff. I've seen this game before. I'm not sure. I'm being lazy. I'm not reading Japanese like I should. But it's Fate Grand Order. Let's just open this and see what's in there. So why not? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's figures. So it's one of those where you have to assemble the figure and everything. 
and it turns out to be her. So really nice. A lot of figures in this bag. It's really cool. Ooh, girl. This is nice. Really nice wallet. Again, I'm just being lazy of reading the <laughs> Hiragana Katakana, but very nice wallet. I love these ones. And last but not least is a really cool Kirby solar activated figure. So that's what I got in my lucky bag, technically lucky box from JList. I'll put their link below. They do this every year and they also have other monthly things you could subscribe to as well. A lot of Japan stuff and anime things that I like. So yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We are also on social media. All those links are down below. Make sure you subscribe to So Do You Like Stuff. We also have a second channel. All those links are down below as well. So um, in the meantime, this is not related, but I'm going to put a link down below. I am working on raising money for St. Baldrick's, which is a foundation to help raise money to support research for finding a cure for children's cancer so if you could donate down below it the link is down there any help is appreciated we're going to have that running until now until the middle of march of 2020 so you guys i want to thank you so much for tuning in and until next time you guys are the best i love you all okay, bye.